So the NSA tapped our phones, and now a prominent House Republican wants to tap out funding to the NSA. Michigan Republican Justin Amos joins us now. Uh, Congressman, how do you propose to uh, defund the NSA? Well, thanks for having me on, Charles. What we're going to have is an amendment to the Department of Defense Appropriations Bill that will defund the NSA's collection of Americans' phone records. So it's targeted specifically at that operation, which is unconstitutional. Okay, but, you know, when these agencies get money, I mean, all funding is, is fungible, so uh, you can actually go in there and surgically say, this particular part of your operation you can no longer do or will no longer fund it. That's right. The language is specifically tailored to prohibit them from using funds for that particular purpose. Now, you've been a, obviously an extraordinary uh, vocal critic uh, of what's happened over at the NSA, but can we say legally that what they've done is unconstitutional? Everyone that I know believes it's unconstitutional, but can we out, come out and say, okay, it's been proven to be unconstitutional, therefore we're going to defund it? Sure, it's unconstitutional. They're going into uh, the phone records of every American in the United States without suspicion. There's no precedent for it in history. There's no court case on point. Uh, they sometimes like to cite a court case that, from the 1970s that isn't really on point at all. Um, so there's, there's really no precedent for what they're doing, and it's clearly an unreasonable search and seizure in violation of the Fourth Amendment. All right, Representative Sessions, who's the Rural Committee's uh, chairman, has kind of hinted that he wants to limit amendments, and some people think uh, that includes amendments like yours. Uh, uh, is your message resonating with, uh, with your fellow colleagues, particularly Republicans? Yes, it's absolutely resonating. And it's not just Republicans, it's Republicans and Democrats. I've worked on a separate bill with uh, Congressman John Conyers, the ranking Democrat on the Judiciary Committee. We have about 40 co-sponsors on that, split, split evenly between Republicans and Democrats. He's working with me on this amendment. We have a, uh, a, a wide spectrum of Republicans and, uh, and Democrats across, um, across the entire political spectrum who are with us on this issue. And people go back to their districts and they're hearing it from their constituents. So do you think this vote uh, would be largely symbolic? Even if it goes through in the House, will it be largely, largely symbolic and send a message? Or could it ultimately actually defund that particular sort of operation within the NSA? Our goal is to defund that operation within the, within the NSA. And I think we can do it. I think we have the numbers to do it. Uh, if these amendments are not allowed uh, to be offered on the floor, which is a possibility, then I think there's a very good chance that we can take the bill down through a procedural vote uh, prior to the vote on the final passage of the bill. All right, before I let you go, a lot of people in Michigan saying that you're a superstar in the making and there's been some scuttlebutt about running for the Senate. Uh, you want to update us on that before we let you go? Well, I'm still looking at it, but I'm happy to be representing my district. It's a fantastic district to represent. I feel so grateful every time I go back home. Uh, but uh, Michigan's a state that I think is winnable, and, uh, and I'll be looking at it very carefully. Representative Amash, uh, this is a real serious issue that you've taken on, so we thank you, and we'll be back with you real soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much.